What's up, everybody? My name's Leah B. Jackson, and I'm here with... Stefan Frost. I'm the design producer at Carbine Studios, working on Wildstar. All right, and today we are going to be looking at the final Wildstar class. What is it? This is the engineer. Uh, <laughs> the engineer is a tech-centric uh, mobile killing machine that can be a tank or DPS. And uh, if you're into, like, robots and big guns, this is totally the class for you. All right, let's check her out. Okay, so the first thing I want to show off that's pretty cool, um, this isn't really a pet class, but you have some pets, and uh, one of them is the robot. Oh, so my gosh, you have a little robot. Look at his face. He is adorable, <laughs> except for the part where he shoots missiles and blows people up. Oh, well, that's kind of adorable. Sort of. <laughs> so um, we have different kinds of robots, too. So if I want to have multiple kinds out, I can have two out at one time. Um, and I can add those onto my action bar set if I wanted to. So, for example, if I wanted to take out this ability, I could uh, throw in my diminisher bot here. And different robots do different things. So if I spawn this guy in, uh, this guy does multiple stuff. So, uh, for Let's example... Let's look at his face. Yeah, he, oh, wait, hold on. Oh, there's his face. Totes adorbs. <laughs> uh, so this guy uh, deals 101 tech damage over one second for four seconds uh, to foes and creates a field that snares them within. So if you want to snare somebody in, uh, if you're like a tank, for example, or something like that, that's a good use of trying to keep the enemy in one spot. Uh, and then you have this guy here who just does nothing but fires all sorts of damage on him. So if you kind of snare him in one spot, fire some damage on him, it's a good combo to have it too. So do you tell your bots which abilities to use, or do they just kind of function on their own? They, they can do both. Um, they'll automatically fire stuff out, um, but they'll also, I have commands here, um, so you know I can say stop, or I can say despawn, or attack. Um, if I hit the ability again down here, mm -hmm. it will attack for me, and you can see their attack radius, so um, okay. this shows you where the pet will attack. Okay, so that's denoted by the telegraphs on the floor, which we've talked about in past videos. The mm -hmm. telegraphs tell you, you know, wh where your moves are going to be focused and attack things. Exactly. Um, so where are we now? So we're in Auroria. Um, this is, uh, we showed the medic off as well last week. This one shows off uh, the same area, but we're going to be using the, the engineer to dispatch these foes. Um, so a really cool... I just CC'd them there. Okay. I can get out of dodge there by hitting that ability. Get out of the way. So you notice the range on this guy is it's pretty long, or mm -hmm. girl, as I should say. <laughs> uh, and you can see my bots are kind of doing some of the damage as well. So even if I'm not putting out as much DPS, my bots will help out, um, just kind of without me telling them to do so. Now, is it important to dodge the telegraphs as the engineer? Um, I mean, it is. You should always, here's the thing, uh, damage is always bad. So if you want to stay in a telegraph and take the damage, you can. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, but um, they have heavy armor, so it is uh, easier for them to take that damage. Um, so if I want to do that, I can do it and build my spec to be like a tank that just soaks up damage. So I mm -hmm. can totally do that if I want to. Or I can be the tank. The tanks that I like to play are a little bit more mobile, like to kind of avoid the damage and have a little bit more DPS and threat. Okay. But, uh, so you'll notice I just moved out of the way of that telegraph by using that ability. So uh, it also has stacks, so I can do multiples at the same time if I let it charge up. You can jump multiple times, you mm -hmm. mean? Okay. So um, when it builds up the stack again, I'll show you how I do it. Um, I just pulled two here, so I gotta be, be careful. careful what I'm doing here. Mm -hmm. So my bots are helping out quite a bit, so that's cool. <laughs> now can you level up your bots as well? So if you wanna be like a robot focused engineer sure yeah in fact I can show you kind of using our uh, our tier points here so if I wanted to level this guy up at base this is what he does right it's okay does that but as we go through it it will actually increase more so uh, I'm actually gonna take this guy off oh, bye bot. bye bot so <laughs> I'm gonna take him <laughs> off and I'm gonna replace it instead uh, with good start on the bio shell. I like that one. And like we discussed in the medic video, you know, you can change these at will anytime you're yes. out of combat and you can get points to level up the tier abilities when you level up. Indeed. So uh, if I want to make a more badass version of an ability that I happen to like, um, then I can kind of put my points into that. And if I want to change that too, I can go, you know, I don't want to put it in quick burst anymore. I want to put it in electrocute because I use that more often. Okay. Um, I can use that build. So uh, something else I wanted to kind of point out was the innate ability. Yes. Um, so 
let's say I'm fighting this guy uh, and I actually want to do more damage and take less damage. Well, I'm going to start off the fight um, by using this one. It's a longer cast time. And you can move while you um, use these abilities Indeed, as the engineer, I can. right? Yeah. So now I've got two guys on me. Let's say I'm a little bit nervous, right? So what I do is pop the R and I've got this mech suit that actually allows me to take <laughs> more damage. Well, it actually reduces the amount of damage. Okay. So I just got out of the way by using that ability twice. Mm -hmm. And boom, just took Double care of kill, no nice. Problem. Now what I want to ask you about next is this, is your resource bar at yes. the bottom. Is mm -hmm. that affected by your innate ability? No. Um, well, actually, it does go up when I use my innate, so it, it fully charges. Okay. So, again, our innates in our game are very much like, use these when you need to be super powerful or survive. Okay. It's like, oh, man, I'm about to die. I better use this because it'll, it'll keep me around a lot longer. Um, and in PvP, if somebody's got, you know, 20% of their health, it's like, use that innate so you can be more uh, powerful. And then on top of that, you can uh, save your skin by not taking as much damage. Okay, so can you tell us a little bit more about the resource bar and what kind of resource the engineers use? Sure, so this resource bar, you can see as I'm using my builder ability, it, um, it goes up more. And the electrocute ability I just used actually uses that resource. Okay. So certain abilities need it. Um, so, for example, if I keep hitting them, uh, I can have some stuff like that doesn't really, that's all based on time, the ability I just used to get out of the way, urgent withdrawal. Mm -hmm. uh, this ability, Quick Burst, is only available after a critical hit. Okay. So if I uh, increase my specs to be more critical hit centric, I want to have this on my bar because it'll be available more often. And in fact, if I want to, uh, let's say I don't want to use Electrocute as much, I want to level it up here, it actually becomes easier to use you mm. know, the more of these you have. Um, things like cooldowns, uh, the amount of damage used on these, uh, it all increases as you increase these tiers all the way to the end. Okay, so we've talked a lot about the kind of damage dealing side of the engineer. Can we discuss or see a little bit more of the tanking stuff? Sure. So because if, uh, so, am I right to assume that it's a ranged tank? It's yeah, it's it's a mid to range tank. It's, okay. It's kind of weird. That's neat though. Yeah. So it's it's a little different. Um, the support abilities are the ones that kind of do that. The Bruiser bot is a good example of using that sort of stuff. Um, that's a more damage over time thing. Um, a lot of these generate threat. Uh, Hyperwave, for example, the deals the 317 tech damage. Um, and the threat match with the highest NPCs threat list, you can use that a lot. That's okay. super useful. Um, there's a, a lot of these abilities are more centric towards tanking so gotcha if we were going to use them i mean we can use them it just means the amount of damage obviously that i give out is mm -hmm. going to be less but these guys are a ton of fun because you can do that mid to range and you have the heavy armor so it's kind of a different sort of tank as like the warrior they're very much a melee range um they can have heavy armor so they can just be all about threat generation mm -hmm. um, or you can get in there and kind of be like well i want to move around a little bit more and do a little bit more damage um <laughs> these noises the bots are making are so cute they are, again, super adorable <laughs> and uh, can also blow people up. So it's a good, it's a good robot to have. It's a good robot. Yeah. So um, how many, speaking of robots, how many robots total um, are there for the engineer? Because uh, you said I, you can have two out at a time, but yes. how many total are there? You can have multiple. Um, so I, in fact, I'll pull out all the robots here. Um, pull out all the robots. Let's see put out the bruiser bot <laughs> um, and pull this guy out. There's another robot that we haven't earned yet because we're not high enough level. It's the repair bot. Okay. So if you want to heal yourself, that thing will give you a hot basically. Oh, nice. Yeah. So, so what kind of person, you know, do you think that is the engineer for? What kind of player? Um, it's a range player, uh, somebody that wants to take a little bit more damage and kind of dish out stuff from a distance. Um, it's, it's definitely different from, you know, our other classes. Mm -hmm. If you're into robots blowing stuff up and high tech everything, then the, <laughs> the engineer's for you. So I can pull out this guy. They seem kind of like, Oh, that's another new one. I haven't seen him yet. Yeah. So, and they all have, you know, I can basically use these guys, uh, in different situations. So if I wanted to, let's take out, this guy is coming up on the horizon here. So I can use this to have him kind of 
Oh. <laughs> so he can just taunt it for me, right? So yeah. he's tanking, and I can still do some damage for him. Meanwhile, okay. my other robot can fire off stuff as well. Now, do you have to, like, repair your robots after each fight, or do they die? You certainly can. Um, they, you'll notice the little health bars here. They're oh, my, okay. My little robot homies have out. Um, mind you, this is also, we're in beta right now, so this isn't necessarily the final UI or anything mm -hmm. like that. Um, but, yeah, you can definitely use your robots. Uh, you can heal them if you want to, or uh, they'll, repeat, they'll repair over time. So if I just kind of hang out, you'll see it's it's going up. They also have shields as well. So okay. um, just like the player does, this little blue bar is my shield. So after that goes down, my health starts going down. Gotcha. And then what does that two next to your health bar mean? Uh, this is my dash. So basically, oh, okay. I have two dash charges. Gotcha. So if uh, and we always those go on cooldown. You'll notice it's starting to fill up again. Mm -hmm. And we discussed in the video last week the medic. We also have the dash right here. Right. So we can run through as as that. Okay. So how? I mean, is it just kind of like the ranged? Uh, that makes them different than the other tanks in Wildstar and the pets? Or are there any other, like, big differences that you would say? Um, it's it's also, I mean, it depends. Against the uh, Stalker, the Stalker is medium armor. Mm -hmm. This class is heavy armor. So it's kind of a, it's kind of different in that it's a ranged heavy armor um, for okay. both classes. The Stalker, you have to be a lot more mobile um, and very much... You know, stay out of the fire sort of thing. Uh, we got two guys here. I love when that one pounces on the enemies from so far away. Yeah, it's you can kind of send them out to do their thing, too. So, so like during PvP, attack, how do engineers fare? Uh, it really depends on the player. I mean, <laughs> uh, a lot of our game is, is skill. It's not just, you know, this guy does the most damage, ergo I'm going to win. Mm -hmm. um, oh, so uh, <laughs> these guys in PvP are a ton of fun because the robots, you notice he's doing damage for me. As I'm doing stuff, I don't even need to hit the ability if I don't want to. It's just, again, right. more of a damage over time effect. Um, and uh, their, their innate in PvP is crucial. I mean, you, you put that on <laughs> and you become more badass. And it saved my skin a couple times, you know, where I, let's say I'm fighting somebody and somebody else comes up after that and I'm fighting two guys at the same time while I mm -hmm. just pop the innate. And, you know, basically it saves my skin because I can get out of dodge, use this guy to taunt, and then run out yeah so would you say this is definitely more like a high skill cap class because you're you're overseeing other things as well as your own character and you have to also be mindful of you know the telegraphs because you're tanking definitely um the, i wouldn't say that it's like you know you'll get in and be like what am i doing here? it's <laughs> it's definitely something that you you could we have it set to where it's easy to play hard to master right so right um if if i want to i can do stuff like just button mash all day and I'll, I'll still kill characters it's just am I going to be efficient with how I do things okay. like that for example ah! <laughs> those ones those girl monsters have the craziest telegraphs <laughs> they do the uh, yeah the, those are Osun witches um, the, these guys and uh, we'll fight these guys for example too you know Wildstar we have both you know clusters and singles and that's pretty standard mm. MMO fare but uh, because of the telegraphs, it really varies up the gameplay and kind of makes you want to line up all this stuff so that you're not just, you know, hitting the same thing over and over again. Do the same monsters have the same telegraphs? Like, th that one kind of looked like a keyhole that uh, just went through, and the witches have the circles all the time. Like, if you fight a witch, do you know, like, oh, she's going to spawn those 8,000 uh, circles? It ranges. One of the one of the hardest things to do in this game is is develop these telegraphs because every single monster, pretty much, has a different telegraph. Okay. Um, in, and as they progress throughout the game, they get more and more difficult. <laughs> so um, that guy, for example, might have a telegraph that before was you know, 20 meters, but by the end of the game, it's like 80 meters. Okay. So awesome. they all range. All right. So what else is amazing about the engineer? <laughs> um, the engineer I, I like because it's again it's wild star so we make stuff mobile um you'll notice like i was using this ability love to get out of the way of telegraphs mm -hmm. using that stuff so it's 
it's a tank that still uses mobile stuff, um, but at the same time, it's kind of a pet class, but kind of not. <laughs> um, well, it's definitely a pet class. I mean, you have those robots running around. There, there are now. This is the only pet class in Wildstar. This is the only kind of pet class in Wildstar. Right? Pretty much, yeah, yes. It's the only <laughs> kind of pet class in Wildstar. Um, it's it's definitely something, and even if you're like, oh, I'm not about pet classes at all, you could take your robots off. You don't need them. Um, you can build up your spec to be, you know, not centric on that as well. Okay. Wow. That's r- So you don't even need the robots? No, nah, if you don't want them. I mean, it's, again, it's all how you want to play. If you want to be a tank that just uses uh, th- threat generating abilities that are not centric on the robots or anything like that, you can do that. Same mm-hmm. with the DPS. You, you don't need them. You, it's whatever you want to do and how you want to level up your abilities so that you can become more badass in the way that you want to become more badass. Awesome. So can, can you also talk about um, the engineer's weapon? Yes. So uh, this is a gigantic rifle. Um, <laughs> there are uh, buttloads of these basically throughout the game. Um, as you play through and get more stuff, uh, you'll get bigger and more badass versions of the rifle. But um, it's, again, one of the... We were talking in one of the last videos that... It's not just about the rifle, it's about the robots, it's about the mm-hmm. um, all sorts of different attacks that you have here. But yeah, the, the rifle is the, the main bread, bed, bread and butter, <laughs> if I can talk, uh, for the class. And then when we spoke about the medic, um, we kind of said that they're the science-based class are portrayed you know they love science rather than the magic. Yeah. How, where does the engineers fit in? Because it seems like they're sort of homegrown rather than being super technologically advanced. Yeah, these guys are definitely more, you know, worked on these robots in their basement <laughs> sort of uh, people that, you know, are just kind of creating these things. And, you know, it's it's brute force mechanics. It's not like the super scientific stuff. It's like, you know, got out the wrenches and uh, <laughs> spent some time adding some personality to these robots and, you know, and uh, using abilities to get out of Dodge as opposed to... Uh, you know, just, uh, oh, I used uh, all sorts of scientific theories to come up with this. <laughs> these guys are very much like, let's blow it up and use science. Awesome. Science, bitch. <laughs> Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so use your Nate one last time because it's awesome. All right, done. <laughs> I will wipe this guy out real quick as a result. I think my favorite robot so far is that taunty one. Oh, this guy? That the guy, bruiser, bruiser bot. bot. Yeah. Yeah, he's really cool. All right. Um, is there anything else? I don't want to forget anything. No, you know, I think we covered everything. Badass robots, mech suit, uh, giant cannons that you can use to shoot people in the face. <laughs> uh, it's pretty much the engineer right there. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. And for everything else on Wildstar, stay tuned to IGN.